All right. How you doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. I am the emperor of my universe. Right here. Anyway, I was having an epiphany thought download. Good stuff, right? About my abilities and my problems, my weakness, my <clears throat> my sin, if you will, is my inability to want to be around people. If that makes sense. As somebody who's a healer, somebody who's a, by being in the same room with other people are able to heal them. I don't like people. No, no, let me rephrase that. I don't like being around other people. And it's not all the time. I'm like, when I was selling my art and those cute little girls were asking me, I mean, that was an awesome interaction and I'm very blessed to be there at that moment, okay? But a lot of human interaction is toxic. I mean, a lot. And a lot of it's people that aren't understanding they're toxic. Like that poor gentleman, he's just helpless. He's, that is, he is a karmic. He, his, his, this life lesson, this being is put on this earth to have other people learn compassion for that person. Okay? That's what, if that makes any sense. The people that are out there suffering the most that you feel sorry for that are laying in the street that are incoherent and don't even know where they're at. They're there so you love them, so you show them that you care, so you have ability to feel. And my point of this video is going to be about power and your empathy and how intimate it is. Eye contact. See, eye contact is super intimate for an empath in many ways. Just looking at somebody into their eyes and focusing is a very intense experience if you understand what an empath is because that's a super big connection and the more time you spend it's it's you're we're, an empath the true empath is never closed out for another person's energy you just need to know how to block it off quickly when it goes to the negative when you feel you're being drained but your job is basically to give that energy, to give that empathy. When somebody looks in the eyes, you're, they're going to feel better after you talk to them and tell them how amazing they are by looking them in the eyes. Okay? So that's what I have the ability to do. But at the same time, my sin is that I just, I'm so more comfortable. It's my comfort zone right now being by myself, which is weird. <laughs> but I enjoy it. But at the same time, cuddles are good. Being around people are, is a good experience. You need to focus and, you know, to share and to, uh, it's just the human experience, right? And savants, um, um, autistic children, there's, there's always the lack of eye contact. That's what they, they tell, focus on, look at me in the eyes, that kind of thing. I, I, is, this might just be a theory of mine, but I think that those children are very empathic, very Super, if you're high functioning like that, and you're just super sensitive to everything, but you don't have the ability to shut things out, that can be super, super intense. It's like being on an acid trip on a non-stop 24-7, if you can imagine. But that it's that intensity, which is probably why they don't like doing the eye contact. I've actually had that problem with the, as a child, but I was fortunate to have a father who is very strict, demanded your attention, look me in the eyes when I'm talking to you, that kind of thing. So I was, you know, trained and forced to shake hands, look people in the eye, and do these things, even though it goes against my natural instincts as an empath. Because <clears throat> it's that shared energy that I didn't realize I was even sharing, and, and a lot of people are overtaking. Like, you know, you become, like I say, you become a battery station and a disposal storage disposal or some you know dump site so they dump all their their toxic bullshit on you and at the same time they're draining you know they're charging their battery and then they walk off whistling and feeling better and you're just left with this pile of shit and then all this toxic and you're you're drained and you're like okay not only do you have to recharge your batteries but you also have to transmute a bunch of toxic shit that they just dumped on you so that's fun 
Anyway, so yeah, the intimacy of the empath. It's, it's not easy being around people. Like I said, just having a conversation can be very intimate. Oddly. And nothing sexual or anything like that. It's just It's just very personal. I don't know why I'm talking about that. I don't know why this was important. But it is for somebody. Maybe somebody will understand. Maybe that's what your situation is. Maybe that's why you feel this way. Because you're highly empathic. And, and it is a painful experience. It's very intimate. So hopefully this helps. I love you. God loves you. And the universe is great. God's just great. We all are. Have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye.